quarterback, the most important position on the football field, it's not even close. Sometimes, however, the result of the game flies directly in the face of how the quarterback actually performed. Sometimes the quarterback just pulls the team right along with him. We're going to talk about some of the offenses where the difference between quarterback performance and result is most stark. George, Eric alongside, brought to you, of course, by mybookie.ag. Okay, let's start at the very top. Couple of offenses that have been great, a couple of quarterbacks that have been great. The Kansas City Chiefs and the New Orleans Saints have been virtually unstoppable offensively, and their quarterbacks have also been great. Yeah, both guys with the uh, the top two grades uh, in our in our system, Breeze at about a 96, Patrick Mahomes at about a 92, but of course we're seeing it also uh, in you know the results. Both guys averaging more than uh, you know 0.3 expected points added. How you know basically amount of points generated on a play per play. Uh, per pass play this season so far, that's actually higher than what you would expect for guys that grade that highly. So what we're seeing with the, you know the, those offenses, with those head coaches calling plays for those offenses, you're seeing the hole bigger than the sum of the parts here for these two quarterbacks. All things working in sync, it's a beautiful thing. The big separator between those two, and likely in this MVP race, is the turnover-worthy plays. Breeze has been saint-like in his ability to keep the ball on his side of the field, right? Very for pious his, with respect to the ball. Not on his side of the field, but for his team. You know what I'm saying? And yes, and Mahomes has been a little bit more erratic. Not that erratic considering how many big plays he makes, but certainly not as tidy with football as Drew Brees. About twice, a little more than two times as big of a turnover-worthy play rate relative to Brees. Another guy that's up there at the top is Jared Goff. Let's talk about him for a second because I think he's in the MVP race, but not quite as great of a performance on his part. Yeah, his EPA generated per pass was a little under 0.3, so it's a little bit lower there. Um, he's generating almost 13% of his throws are being negatively graded so far. That's kind of, you know, a little bit less than twice as much as the aforementioned uh, Breeze uh, and Mahomes. So, you know, we know that negatively graded throws are the most stable thing uh, in a quarterback's data set, so that would, I think, drop him a little bit lower. However, the Sean McVay offense is still producing at a rate per play that's higher than what you would expect from a quarterback that grades like Goff. So still, uh, you know, very, very, you know, the whole greater than the sum of the parts again, but not necessarily as big uh, as with Kansas City and New Orleans. As we saw on Monday Night Football, he still has a propensity to turn the ball over, to put the ball at risk like Mahomes. The big difference is that outside of structure, he is not making as many big plays, right? So if it's schemed, and Sean McVay has designed something that is ready for him, he is going to make that play. He's going to make a lot of big plays off that. But Mahomes has the most big time throws outside of the pocket on plays where he's scrambling. Goff just not quite at that level. But the offense is still producing at a very high level. Okay, before we get to the ones that are underperforming, reminder that if you want to capitalize on any of this information, you want to head to mybookie.ag, whether it is a NFL future or just a random game you're watching on a Wednesday, they can make it more interesting. Plus, this week 13 schedule, not sure if you've seen it, but you're going to want to head to mybookie.ag because it's going to make it watchable. I don't think you want to go apple picking this weekend. It's going to be very cold. So stay safe, stay inside, head to mybookie.ag and use promo code PFF to get a dollar for dollar match on your first deposit. It's very simple, Eric. PFF plus mybookie.ag. Follow me here. You play. You win, you get paid. Okay, the bear of bad news. Teams who, their offense, not so great. Their quarterback, doing a little bit better though. What comes foremost to your mind? Yeah, for me, it's it's Aaron Rodgers, and then secondarily, it's it's uh, Baker Mayfield. Aaron Rodgers has been a guy who's grading. He's grading in the top five for us. But whether it be sacks, whether it be you know having to throw the ball away because his receivers aren't open, uh, or maybe possibly you know just you know you know the the scheme. Rodgers is averaging only basically 0.1 expected points added uh, per dropback, and that's just you know very very shy of the guys who he's in the conversation with in terms of grades. So uh, that would be an offense that's underperforming the grade of the quarterback. In Cleveland, what's really interesting here is with Mayfield, he has basically the same grade as Deshaun Watson. And we watch, you know, the, the Texans on Monday Night Football, that offense is humming, right? They average twice as many expected points added than the Browns do uh, on Baker Mayfield's dropbacks. And it's because of what we've seen before. We see DeAndre Hopkins, probably the most valuable non-quarterback in the NFL. Baker Mayfield does not have uh, that type of support. We've seen that when he gets that type of support, that offense really does move the ball uh, the last two weeks. So that's a guy who I think as the season progresses, as you get more, uh, you know, with Kitchens as their offensive coordinator, you might see this converge a little bit. But for now, I think the Browns have been getting less uh, offensively than what they've been getting from their quarterback. 
Mayfield has the sixth most drop passes in the NFL, and he didn't play for the first couple of weeks yeah. of the season. So that gives you an idea of the help that he's getting on his side. But from a process standpoint, he is delivering yep. the highest rate of accurately placed passes on throws 20 plus yards downfield that gives you a sense i was told his arm you know might not be strong enough but apparently he's overcome a testament to the growth mindset on the rogers side of things there are some inconsistencies there he is just throwing the ball away at a prodigious rate 47 throwaways the most we've ever seen in the pff era here's a crazy stat for you steve palzolo our good buddy dug this up drew Brees, 82 incompletions Aaron Rodgers, 47 throwaways. I mean, it, there are some things that Aaron Rodgers is doing that is certainly holding that offense back a little bit. But overall, he's, he's playing better than that offense yeah. is performing. Okay, now let's look at some quarterbacks who they're not doing a great job, but their offense still sort of humming along. Let's start with Mitch Trubisky here. Where do you sort of put those pieces when it comes to the Bears offense? Yeah, Trubisky is averaging more expected points added per dropback than Aaron Rodgers is. Um, but his PFF grade is in the lower third uh, among starting quarterbacks, and we would attribute that to Matt Nagy. He's looked great in our coaching metrics. We've talked about that before uh, on the PFF forecast. Uh, you know, Trubisky, we're starting to see a little bit of diversion between his positively graded throw rate and his negatively graded throw rate. For much of the season, though, he had been averaging more negatively graded throws per drop back than positively graded ones. So I think he's getting a little bit better, but I think also that offense is simply just elevating him uh, better than uh, most offenses are. And let's not forget, he does that sort of Blake Bortles thing where if it's not there, he is likely to run. run. And those runs are valuable. So those pick up expected points added but it doesn't offer the same potential value as a pass, right? So being able to get to your second read and hit your second read gives you the opportunity to make those bigger chunk plays, get yards after the catch. It is a more valuable play if you can get to it. However, those runs are going to accumulate some value and he is doing that well, even though it's not necessarily a stable thing when you talk about quarterback play. If we're going to the bottom of the barrel, who are some guys that, look, they are just in the depths of despair here. Is there any hope for them? Yeah, Josh Rosen, for example, he has actually a better PFF grade than Mitch Trubisky, both from a zero to 100 scale and a per snap uh, basis, but his offense is losing over 0.3 points uh, every time he drops back to throw. And a lot of that is turnovers. Uh, he's been sort of his worst uh, enemy there at a you know a rate of almost 5% uh, turnover worthy play rate. But a lot of that is sort of random, like you know 50% of fumbles get recovered, but it seems like for him uh, that hasn't been uh, nearly as uh, you know fruitful. And in that offense, simply we know that they've already fired their offensive coordinator once. Even with uh, Byron Leftwich coming in, they're still averaging I think the least amount of points per drive uh, so far this season. So it, it's one of those things where I think in the future, if you put more pieces in place, a better supporting cast, you know, uh, an offensive coordinator that's a little bit more comfortable, you might see Josh Rosen performing uh, a lot better on the stat sheet than he's performing now uh, because his grade is, is, I think, better than people think. He's had some pretty ugly plays. The problem is for him that most of those ugly plays are being capitalized on by the defense, right? Normally you make a turnover worthy play, about 50% of the time it turns into a turnover. For him it is more like 65, 70%. So we'd like to see that even out for the poor guy. It's his rookie year, he's had a new offensive coordinator. Things will get better, Josh, stick in there. For more, head to profootballfocus.com, subscribe to the PFF Forecast, and as usual, head to mybookie.ag. Enjoy week 13.